Alright, what's up guys? Kevin here to bring you a new video today. For today, we're going to be, again, showing off me uh, continuing to try to beat the game with a Guitar Hero controller, which has been uh, interesting. Um, kind of difficult, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, hasn't been easy, uh, I'll say. That's all I'll say. Um, some courses have been easier than others, which I'm definitely happy to show off. So first we do this one. We get the secret secret aquarium where Jelly Roger Bay is. Um, this was relatively easy. Um, really easy, actually. Um, it was just a matter of getting the slide flip and then getting in the aquarium and then getting the coins. Um, the only thing I'll say is that Getting these coins up here was a little tougher than getting the coins down there um, because you had to really control where you were going. And with the controller, you don't really have that much control, but you can kind of dictate one direction that you're going once you point yourself in the right direction. So it's kind of just about like just sending yourself in the right path, I guess. Um, and then, uh, even more so later on, where we're literally just swimming in a straight line, and it's actually really easy. Super easy to start again. So yeah, and uh, that's, that's the next star. So the next star that we get is the first one in Jolly Roger Bay, uh, Plunder in the Sunken Ship, which is also pretty easy. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this one. And except for the fact that, uh, you know, swimming's actually not that bad in this, um, if you're trying to get somewhere. If you're trying to do a certain task while swimming, um, it, it's a little tougher, but we'll find out. We'll get into that later, but um, as of now, just swimming to the ship and getting the eel to come out is not hard at all. Um, now, what does become hard and is a little scary is the fact that I nearly died from this um, because I was supposed to get this air bubble and uh, for some reason I didn't and I was really scared I was really really scared of dying here and I thought for sure I was um, so I had to get this chest and I got the air bubble literally that must have been like the moment before I was about to die like that was so close and then and then it's just a matter of getting the other two which is fine um, I do almost drown here because I have no ability to swim up um, for some reason I actually come really close to drowning because this thing is really slow to drain I'm just trying to get up <laughs> and yeah it was kind of close um, now the hard part here was getting up. Getting up to the top was so hard. I spent so much time doing this. I did speed kicks, I kept rolling out, I kept falling down, I kept falling down all the way to the bottom. I had to do a lot. Um, I had to do a lot of different attempts in order to get this star. Um, I think I eventually went on this side and I was better off. And I speed kick and to no avail. And then, okay, this is where I get it. So, I just wanna see what I did. Oh, I landed on that little freaking wood thing right there. And that actually enabled me to get up. And then I actually do a backflip I guess that's what you call it. I do a backflip to get on the freaking platform, of all things. Um, just seems the most reliable. Um, so yeah, that's that's that star. Um, really not that bad though overall. So next uh, we go talk to the Bob Bomb to get the cannon opened so that we can shoot to the area um, to get the star on the little on the little pole that we jump to. Um, and this really isn't that bad at all. Um, lining it up, of course, is 
not that easy, but also not that hard. Um, it's it's really okay. Um, I landed right at the top of it. Now the scary thing was um, jumping here. Um, I honestly was not sure what way to jump because the camera was facing like behind me. So I didn't know whether or not to hold back or forward. Like I think I had to hold like towards me. So I don't know if that's the direction I held, but regardless, I, um, I do end up getting it um, on my first try which I was really impressed with. Um, I was amazed that I got that. <laughs> like, I was so frightened at that. Like, cause that would really suck if I had to go back to the cannon again after that. So we got that on our first try. All right, it's the red coins. Yeah, so yeah, the red coins are relatively easy. Um, <laughs> well, for some of it, it's relatively easy, but there's one part of it that's really not easy at all that I would say is the hardest part of this entire stage um, debatable but yeah for the most part um, it's pretty easy for a while um, just uh, I miss a side bolt there but yeah just getting coins from the clams and then from this pole jump thing and then we get the coin down here and then comes the tough part um, that was uh, pretty darn difficult, was getting to this freaking ship. And um, this wasn't the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but it was pretty fucking hard. Um, there, there are harder things that I've done with this controller that were harder than this, but this is up there. Um, so the problem is, the platforms are so fucking thin that you can't even like walk on them without falling off and that that poses an issue for me because I don't have like a good analog stick I don't have I don't have an analog stick I have a fucking guitar strummer so yeah so I keep failing it again And I don't I don't get it here. Nope. And again. And again. And again. I thought for sure I was gonna get it there. I was really sad. Um yeah. So finally we come up with a strategy where we just jump at it and then we get this last one. And then we do a big leap of faith, uh, a long jump, to get onto the stage. And yeah, we collect our star. Um, that was really painful, I will say. So next we have the eel. Um, eel was a lot harder than I anticipated it to be because you have to like swim in a certain direction at a very specific time and if you don't get it like he's just gonna keep like running away like this and it makes it like really difficult um, so yeah um, this star was a lot less forgiving than I thought it would be and it was and it got on my nerves I gotta say <laughs> this star fucking got on my nerves um, because I would just keep missing it and I think I die here yeah yeah, I die, which is awful, because um, because the eel hit us, so we were about to get it, and we were so close, we were like right on it, and then we got hit by the eel. So after numerous attempts at positioning myself the correct way, um, I do end up finally getting it, but um, you know, it's just one of those things that looks easier than it is um, I, c I just couldn't quite get the swimming speed and just the right angle to hit it and it was it was one of those things that you could just not quite get um, and this goes on for a while actually um, for some reason 
so finally, after what seemed to be a very long time, um, I do get like right next to the star, and then I hit it, um, and I get it, um, and I just have to swim to it. But and then and the last one I get is um, pretty easy. Uh, not a whole lot to say about it. Uh, this is uh, the final one that I go for is the most easy one. Um, the treasure chests. Um, so yeah, just touch the chests in the order, and you get the star. And it was relatively easy to swim to this area. Um, really not hard at all. Um, I mean, I actually got zapped because I, I actually forgot the order of the chests. I got zapped once, but yeah. Other than that, super easy. Um, so now. We're going to CCM. Nope, Mario, you're going to CCM. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I don't know why I was going back there. All right, so we're going back to CCM. Okay, don't know why I did that. So we're gonna start off by doing the slide, which we do die on, unfortunately. Um, right here because we tried to go forward too much um, yeah not a good idea to try to push push forward um, so that was bad but eventually we do get it by just going the regular slow way and taking the shortcut easy peasy um, if I went down the regular way I don't know that I would have been able to make it honestly um, so I'm glad that I went that way. Um, I think it was the right move because once you get into that, you're fine. And I almost died there. That was fucking terrifying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was so scary um, that that happened. So the next one that we're doing is I think the penguin, I want to say. I was, I was trying to be cool and get the triple jump. I was trying to style, but it didn't work out. Um, this penguin is a pain in the ass to grab if you're not if you don't have good movement. Um, it actually runs away from you, and it's uh, super annoying um, to grab. So yeah, you're gonna see that here. Um, it goes down the hill, and then we have to like chase it down, and. Eventually we do grab it when it just lands down here at this weird angle with the tree. Um, yeah, and we take it down the mountain. So yeah, we take it down the mountain and we get this cool jump here that lets us get on this platform, which is very useful. And then we're pretty much home free. Um, the snowman, the penguins, like the mama penguins like just below us, but I, I didn't want to like drop the penguin. so. I tried to like get on this platform hoping that I wouldn't get like smushed in the snow but unfortunately I do and the snowman's like right there to keep hitting me and he just keeps like pelting me with snowballs and I can't grab the penguin and <laughs> it gets it gets really hard but eventually he finally misses a snowball so then I can just grab the penguin again um, and return it to the mama. So this star is rough, uh, I gotta say. This wall kicks will work star. Um, so with this, I don't wanna have to get the cannon. So I'm doing the speed running strat of trying to um, jump down and then pull myself back so that I can land down there, um, which proved to be really tough because not only is it hard to get like the right position for this but also like being able to being able to like uh being able to like pull back on the stick on a guitar hero controller is uh kind of tough so yeah i fucked up there and there there. I thought I almost had it, but not quite. 
lining it up, lining it up, and bonk. Nope. Game over. I was not giving up on this. I was not going to give up. I had to press... I, I basically had to press the orange button, like, as soon as I came down, and also hold, um, like, that way, so that I would be going, like, into the course. Um, really weird, but I end up barely getting it, uh, eventually. I think I do get it here, actually, or no, I don't. We die again. Looks like we die again, yeah. That was, that looked like, that looked promising, I just didn't pull back enough. I, I keep, like, not pulling back enough. So, eventually we finally get it. After all this time, <laughs> you can see the sigh of relief on my face. Oh my god. And I finally get it. That was so painful. That, that was probably more painful than the freaking eel, honestly. Um, so I try to go for this weird-ass side flip. That I normally do in speedruns, but um, kind of to no avail because I didn't have the ability to properly do like multiple wall kicks. So I decided to go for the strategy that I used to use, which in some ways is like just as hard because like because like I can't I can't like angle my wall jumps well and. With this one, you have to, like, um, tilt your stick to the right so that you land on that platform. And honestly, like, it felt impossible. It felt like I couldn't do it. Like, because basically how it works is I have to strum down and then strum back up and then press A with the green button and then press A again with the green button and then after I hit that green button, I have to hit the orange button the moment I wall jump so that I go that way. Um, so I'm basically having to hold two buttons at like the perfect, precise time. Um, super difficult, super difficult. Um, this took me forever to get, um, I was, amazed that I could finally do it after a while still trying it so so here we finally get it after many many tries just barely and then and then we slowly 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 walk across this Tiny, 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 tiny bridge to get to the star. Um, I don't think I could walk any slower in these fucking moccasins as Mario. Because, goddamn, this dude is freaking limping across this bridge. Like, look at him. Look at him limp. He's literally just slowly skeeting his way across the bridge to get to that star and slowly but surely slowly but surely we do end up getting it and we got it so really glad I was able to do that okay so the next star that I do go for that I am able to successfully get is the red coins um, I do mess it up on the first try, um, and I think it was relatively easy for the most part. Um, not really much to say about it, I just traversed around the course getting the red coins. Um, it wasn't like crazy hard really, um, except for the end, um, which, I, which we'll get into. Okay, so we get the teleport, and as you can see, the red coin's down there. We can see it. You can see it down there. So I'm like, okay, I just have to slide down and get it. But I died. Um, I thought I could recover with the breeze or with the slide thing, but I just couldn't manage. But we do manage to get the red coin right at the beginning so that we can just get that shit out of the way. We bonk into the thing 
so that we stay in the course. And I used the Mario cam to fix the camera. But I bonked into the ice so I didn't fall off. So I got the coin eventually. And it's all good. So then we finally jump, jump to the other side again. Cool little jump there to hold to the right. And we carefully, very carefully, do a careful, safe ground pound. And we get our star. So next, we go to Bowser in the Dark World. Um, now this stage is actually not terrible, but it is terrifying at parts. Um, specifically, this first part is actually like super easy because the course is all just like laid out from like left to right based on the camera angle. It, you just go left to right. So I basically just use the blue and orange buttons to get it. Um, I almost was going to get that red coin, but I didn't quite get it. But I would have been really impressed if I was able to get that using the switch only once. But uh, nonetheless, we are able to get that red coin. Nonetheless, we are able to get that red coin. And we make our way up. And fail at first. Um, we couldn't do the wall jump. That's a little too advanced for a Guitar Hero controller. But we did manage to triple jump up there. Um, and then we just have to time this platform. I want to like, I'm gonna like go through this whole course because it's it was pretty terrifying. And like I have to avoid that Goomba. If he hit me, I could have very well been dead. Um, and then I have to carefully traverse up here. Like I stopped myself a little bit because I was so afraid of falling off. <laughs> I was so scared of falling off. And then I get hit by the freaking amp. So this is actually really scary and I'm amazed that I survived this. I actually jumped to the other side of the course. <laughs> and <laughs> you can see my face. I'm like so fucking scared, dude. Oh my god, that, that was really scary. I was amazed that I lived that. Um, so with this, this isn't too bad. Um, just position yourself so that you get the red coin. And all is good. And then you just make your way over. Uh, using the platforms, not too bad. Uh, now this is the hard part, um, and I do end up dying here, unfortunately. Um, as much as I hated dying, considering the fact that I went through this entire course, pretty much, and then died. Um, so the problem is that I couldn't control my stick the right way, so I had to keep, like, like I had to keep like, I had to keep like going like this and then that 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 and then like press the button and then flicker and then press the button and then flicker and then press the button and flicker and like every time I would do it, I would like almost like do it too much. So you had to like do it just a little bit, like just a little bit and then you'll be fine. And then like just a little bit, just a little bit just a little bit like so scary and the problem I had was that I tried to change the flicker that changed the way I did the flicker <laughs> and I just died I just screwed myself trying to change that method so take two we do end up getting getting back on carefully um, very scary, but we were able to get it. Um, and then we we do this uh, trick where we walk on the side like you do normally. Sometimes you just normally do this anyways, but I was surprised that I was able to do this with the controller. But I think th the thing was that um, the thing was that the, the camera was facing directly behind us in a certain position so that we could just go directly right and it, it wasn't too bad actually um, now getting this last coin I will say was uh, pretty scary um, based on what we had to do here 
So I believe that we did a triple jump using the blue, yellow, and green buttons all at once. And I'm amazed that I was able to get it, um, honestly. <laughs> like, like, I was just like sitting there like, oh my god, I can't believe I just got that. <laughs> Oh yeah, and by the way, I do like doing this format. Um, I think I'm gonna keep doing this format where I just comment, commentate on what I do rather than trying to commentate the entire time I try to beat the game for God knows how long. So that way I can just show off the different things I have to go through. And you still get to see my face. So you get to see the, the pain, the pain that I have to endure. Um, you're able to just have me uh, just guide you through the pain that I've experienced but yeah we get that we get that star which is nice and now it's time to spin Bowser um, now this was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be um, like way easier um, like getting to grab him was a little tough a little tough um, but even that wasn't that bad like we were able to pretty comfortably traverse around him, and once he started breathing his fire, then we can split him, spin him. And so, so what I realized is that um, the way you spin Bowser with the Guitar Hero controller is actually like playing a guitar solo, where you have to flicker to hit all the notes because the notes are coming so fast. So basically. Um, since the flicker goes up and down, you can start flicking up and down to kind of like spin in one way. It's that same motion basically, and then if you start flickering really fast, you can just like keep spinning him. Um, and it actually works really well. Um, didn't have to press the blue or orange buttons at all to go left and right, just up and down. And it, it works. Um, it's really good to know because um, I feel like I thought that the final Bowser fight um, could be a nightmare, but with seeing that, like that kind of gives me hope that you know it's it's doable. It's doable. Um, we didn't we didn't have to like get him really close to the edge. We actually like got like a full throw to like send him in the air, which is like pretty cool. Um, so yeah. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this video, but I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for the next part of the series um, where we go to more courses and uh, face, uh, I would say, far worse challenges than what you just saw here. So look forward to that. So yeah. But yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.